Wilson and I'm at the pumpkin patch right now on a really, really windy day. But we're having a lot of fun. We're going to watch the tractor go by and then I'm going to read a book to you. in the fields and I was looking for pumpkins and I found I found this little pumpkin right here and look at it. it's such a nice pumpkin but it lost its handle it was broken off and that reminded me of the book Stumpkin Stumpkin by Lucy Ruth Cummins. It was a few days before Halloween. Outside the little shop in the big city, a shopkeeper placed some pumpkins on the shelves. A girl came and looked at the pumpkins. When she was done, she picked up one and she carried it away. The other pumpkins worried after their friend. But later, they spotted him across the street in way up high. He was a jack-o'-lantern. Beneath his lovely stem, he now had two triangle eyes, a nose, a giant toothy smile. He had a new home. All perched all to himself, high above the street. What more could anyone want? Thought the pumpkins. They were thrilled for their friend and thrilled that they too might one day be a jack-o'-lantern. They were all happily lost in thought, imagining themselves as jack-o'-lanterns when one of the pumpkins realized something was very wrong. Poor little pumpkin, poor little stemless pumpkin with just a stump and not a stem. Poor little stumpkin. Still, there was plenty to like about stumpkin. He had a, he was a handsome pumpkin, as orange as a traffic cone and as big as a basketball and twice as round. Stem schmem, who knows? Some people might even prefer a stemless pumpkin. Days passed and more people came. Some pumpkins left. Some pumpkins stayed. It wasn't yet Halloween. There were still plenty of windows that needed jack-o'-lanterns. would be lucky enough to take home Stumpkin as orange as an orange, as big as a basketball, round. He was very nearly the perfect pumpkin, very nearly, truly. The next day, new people came. and the shopkeeper's cat settled on Stumpkin's smooth top. Then it happened. A brilliant baby chose Stumpkin until a bad dog ruined it. And then the baby changed his mind. Oh well, thought Stumpkin. It was the day of Halloween. There were still a few empty windows. Two were left on the shopkeeper's shelf. A boy came. And when the boy left, Stumpkin remained. The gourd, thought Stumpkin. I guess that's that. 
It was Halloween night and the shop had closed. There were no more days left. The shopkeeper scooped up poor Stumpkin and carried him off. <gasps> oh, what's that? And two eyes. Stumpkin wouldn't be getting a window. He wouldn't be getting a new home. Hmm. He already had a home. What's this down here? <laughs> and that made Stumpkin very happy. And so that was the end of our book, Stumpkin. And as you can see, I have my own little Stumpkin right here that I found in the patch, nice and round. No stem, but that's okay. It's still a very handsome pumpkin. Take care, and I have more videos coming from the pumpkin patch.